Hello popcorn junkies. Welcome to our channel. Do have a look round because there's loads going on here um, that you can miss out on. Absolutely. What are we doing? Sorry, I've got a carrot in my mouth. Oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a really curious project which we talked about or revealed on the Weekly Rushes last year it was happening. Um, it's called Scoop and it's about an infamous interview. Oh. What would you say one of the most infamous interviews in recent years? Prince Andrew. Without uh, doubt. Bang, on the nose. Oh, is what, that what it's about? What was our daughter's comment when she was watching it? Maddie, do you remember she said it's something she about... Said, oh my God. I feel humiliated. The royal family really do lie. And it's really, this is the, very humiliating for the British. Yeah, she's, she's not, only little. Yeah, she's not nationalistic at all. <laughs> so <laughs> funny the way she said it. But my God, a child is sitting watching this, sweating with embarrassment at the lie. Of course... He, he can't, can't sweat, sweat. Can he? Because <laughs> he was such a hero in the war. Absolutely. Well, um, by all accounts, I think Emily Maitlis, who was the interviewer for the, I think was it was a Panorama special, uh, she recently was seen at the Pizza Express that he was talking about. Oh. Isn't that funny? Is it in Windsor, I think, or somewhere? So anyway, so Scoop, what is this? This is a feature film on Netflix. It's only landing on Netflix. I don't think it's getting a theatrical release. Um, and the cast is really interesting around this. So, so it's the telling of the story behind the securing of the interview. I, and I'll tell you the cast in a minute. If I had any quibble or concern about this is, it, it is, what can it tell us that we wouldn't have already known to be quite dramatic? So this isn't about telling us something new. It might be about the machinations involved in securing oh, the interview. Absolutely. Is that interesting? Well, what were we all it. saying the entire time we were watching it? Why did it? How do? on yeah, earth? Yes, how was this allowed to continue? Mm. So I think through it, because he must have been advised against it, I suppose through it we will see more of his ego, you know, when somebody is on the side of believing that everything they say is right and, mm. and everybody's going to believe them. Because let's face it, that's obviously the way he's been brought up. But presumably we're only going to hear about you know, are they going to do with the crown on it? Is this going to be hypothetical? I mean, I have to say, the crown for me has kind of infected the reliability of any um, sort of real life retell of a story. Yes, we'll be able to kind of get the kind of behind the scenes and the intricacies with the production staff and all that kind of stuff. But how much are we really going to be able to know for sure about Prince Andrew that wouldn't have already hit the press? But I think it's such a fascinating interview. Okay. I think to see it recreated. Well, the cast is fascinating. Gillian Anderson is playing uh, Emily Maitlis. Now, Julian Anderson obviously infamously mm -hmm. played Thatcher. Yeah. The girls love her for an entirely new generation after Mully and whatever it was that she was in. Uh, you remember that sort of sci-fi weird thing? Scully. She, Scully, that's it, yeah. She's, she's massive in sex education, apparently. Mm. So there's a huge following for her. Rufus Sewell is playing Prince Andrew. No. And in the photographs, there's a com it's compelling. Rufus Sewell, he's not old enough. How old's Prince Andrew, 70? But guess who else is in it? Who? Billy Piper. Playing, oh, pipe. playing the office-bound producer slash executive or journalist responsible for securing it. I mean, I think the fact is, if, if Emily Maitlis has been seen mm -hmm. as part of the production, she's got all the truth in the story, hasn't she? So she's oh. going to tell the story. Do I remember rightly hearing at one point that she almost felt like telling him herself that he shouldn't... I think she almost wanted to reach in and say, I don't think this is very wise. Yeah, but of course, any good journalist is not going to do that on the scoop of the century. OK, so we've had a teaser. This is the trailer. An hour of television can change everything. Three women and a whippet. Oh. Wouldn't have seen that in a BBC studio when I started. <laughs> the allegations surrounding Jeffrey Epstein include his friend, Prince Andrew. Sam, let's start pushing the palace. I want it for us. You're chasing a story that we're never going to get. This is the work. My job is booking the people we can't just call up. Hello, everyone. You have a problem that won't go away. We're looking at options. But there is a red line. I've never been smuggled into a palace before. If I do an interview, the question is, why you? With respect, you know how people see you. Spell it out. Brandy, Andy. With respect. Everything's changed. The FBI are raiding Epstein's home. You can't stay silent. It's our drawing room. Two chairs, six feet apart. It's like a Western. Make no mistake, if we don't get the tone right, the story won't be him. It'll be us. 
Your Royal Highness. Tomorrow night, in an unprecedented interview, we will hear from the Duke himself. Yeah, I thought that all went very well. All across the world, every paper, on every news channel, this is the story. Go away! This is only going to get bigger. This interview, does it matter? Yeah, it matters. I love Billy Piper. Oh my God, right. There should be just like that, whatever that music is, that's oh, British the, movie music. Yeah, yeah. Like, music. Why does everything British have to be jaunty? I'm like, oh, okay. I just shut down. Why does British have to be jaunty? And you just think, oh my God, we're going to get overacting, we're going to get weird steering off. Gillian Anderson doing a Margaret Thatcher voice. But with a worse wig on. That was terrible. That was terrible. I mean, the terrible difficulty with any of these things is you're looking for slavish similarities almost. I, I wasn't. Almost. I, well, I wasn't. No. But when I was hit with that music and Margaret Thatcher, mm. I was horrified. And Billy Piper, the whole, the, it looks like it's been directed as, oh, we could, we could all burst into laughter at any point. It's end of the pier. End of the Silliness. fucking pier. It, right we... down to the Randy comment. You're Randy with respect. It, it was a bit pregnant, pausey. It was it pantomime. Was, it was panto. You're absolutely right. With panto outfits. Prince Andrew. The panto music. Did they play that underneath for all the actors while they were acting? Rufus Saul in photographs or stills that we posted on our Instagram looked far more convincing than he necessarily did there. Well, that's all right. Like you say, it doesn't have to no, be No, 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 well. absolutely. But I think what happens is you then, if it's not convincing you or hooking you in, you do then step back to the next line of, can I buy into them being them? And I couldn't. So it's just flagged up yet I mean, again that... Let us not forget, this is an extremely serious story mm. of, of, you know, of alleged sexual abuse yes, yes, within a paedophile ring. Is he is alleged, alleged yeah. but it, the story is a story of absolute horror. And they don't shy so, away from showing uh, Epstein. So I take umbrage with the tone of this because it is not a pantomime. I would have wanted, I was wanting a very sort of, Invent sort of darkly lit, sort of like a serious tone to it, where we were finding out more. And a bit of an interrogation of the process. So don't make it into, I'm well, a bit shocked. Two things. Light it's, entertainment. No, I absolutely, totally agree. Two things about that. They said at one point, literally in there, we if we don't get the tone right, it'll be, a, we'll be the laughing oh, stop. Well, I don't feel they got the tone right in this. And also based on a memoir from an insider is kind of nebulous enough to not be specific enough. But I didn't feel I saw anything there that was telling me some, the thing I said before, which was, was telling me something I didn't necessarily already know. And I didn't like that end line with Billy Piper, which was like, oh, very serious. It was like so obvious. Oh, what? So what you're signalling us so clearly to the fact that maybe you have this story, her character has this story. Now, listen, we are huge fans oh, yeah, of Billy Piper. This is not a uh, sensation. I love we'll Rufus Sewell. In fact, I love all of them. Yeah. Love, yeah. But, but so when I have a whole group of actors that I love and I've got something I'm going, mm, I look to directors, I look to writers and think, mm. what the hell's going on? But I'm open. I'll watch it. Maybe this is, sometimes you can see the most dreadful trailers. Could that music have been put on for the trailer? We did like the All of Us Strangers trailer and then loved the film. Loved the film. The music, one hopes, has been put on for That's the trailer, but I'm it's hoping. a big mistake. Is this Netflix's idea of what we like about As loyalty? Uh, can I just ask you, what was the inference behind the first shot, which was her leopard skin high heel being stepped back? I can't I help but know. feel... No, it was Julie Cooper. It was a Julie Cooper, but also I couldn't help but feel it was subscribed into some kind of cliche about strong media women, potentially. Oh, dear God. Felt dated. Dear it felt really God dated. Almighty. It really felt dated.